Mình là May. Chào mừng các bạn đến Chessy Nguyễn Channel. Hôm nay, mình sẽ tiếp tục với các bạn cuốn sách biến độ khí hậu. Men circulation. I like to stir things. Whipping up oceans, water, and transporting heat and nutrients around the globe. I'm driving by winds at my surface and temperature salinity for my deep underwater currents. Atmospheres, air currents, or surface winds, pools, push oceans top 165 to 330 feet, 50 to 200 meters around. This swift moving, mostly shallow currents include the Gulf Stream, which moves warm water into the Caribbean across the North Atlantic, keeping Northern Europe warm and wet in the winter. Temperature difference between equatorial and polar waters, as well as variations in seawater, saltiness, drive currents that go much deeper as climate change boosts ocean's heat. Po melting pool glacier, my deep currents will start to run more slowly, slowly and my starve ocean's life of vita nutrients. Sea level change. Pull on those rubber books. It's going to get wet. I'm a soggy so and so made whose main joy in life is spreading mayhem and misery. And because more than half the world lies within 37 miles, 60 kilometers of the sea seashore. There's more in my destructive work than wet feet. Thanks to climate change, I'm on the way up. This is because water expands when the temperature rises and pouring even more liquid. And when water expands, it takes up more space. Glacier melts, pouring even more liquid into sobbing, sobbing ocean. As the water level goes up, city goes down. Low-lying areas such as the Mississippi Delta in the United States, as the Ganges Delta in Bangladesh, could flood, affecting millions of people. Long-term, the Italian city of Venice and the Maldives could disappear under the waves for good. Acidification. I cut to the bone. I am a bitter and twisted side effect of the, an increase in CO2 in ocean. The blue sky busters and the ocean wavers constantly swap and share what they have. Where the skies meets the sea, gases in the air air mingle and mix, dissolving easily into the water. So when atmosphere's carbon dioxide levels goes up, so do ocean. More CO2 in seawater makes it more acid, acidic. Many sea creatures such as coral and mollusk, squids and sea shells, crustaceans, seeds, crabs and lobster. Economic germs, starfish, and sand dollars, and tiny plankton build shells out of the hard mineral called clagium carbonate to protect their bodies. Extra acidity makes it harder to extract this mineral from the water and can make even start to dissolve the shells 
of these critters. Coral reefs suffer badly, turning ghostly white and dying off. Chapter 6 Human Crew The human crew have a pretty bad rep relating to the activities of rich and industrialized nations. These guys have been cranking up pressure on the planet for more than half a century. Perhaps they didn't just think about the consequences? Well, climate change affects all living things. Fossil fuel and pollution growth can tell you all about it. Thankfully, the facts are out about these dudes. And real effects are being made to reduce their impact. You can make a difference too. We all can. So, find out what these guys have to say and then start taking care of this planet. After all, it's only one we have. Fossil fuel. Made from the bodies of long neck dead and plants and animals. I lurk underground as coal, oil, and natural gas just waiting to be dug up and burned. Compared with other fuels, I am chock full of energy and there's a lot of me around. I offer a pretty cheap way to make electricity. I just happen to be dirty. The fumes that I produce when I burn create smog and atmospheric brown cloud. Carbon inside the dead bodies of plants and animals combines with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and increase CO2 causes climate change. People burn me down to keep warm, to, to drive their cars, to power their electrical goods and manufactured products. Your food and merchandise travel to reach you, adding dirty carbon miles to many things you are by. It's time to start thinking about how to use less of me. Deforestation I'm no ordinary lumberjack. I don't take care of forests, I but destroy them for good. I'm a slasher. I slice down the woods, burn the trees, and lay good land to waste. I love to ref up the chainsaws and let the bulldozers roar. To make a way for human activity, both our grid cultural cash crops and cattle ranches and urban building broom time cities. Legal logging and for timber threatens native forests and at the current rates of dropping I could strike the play planet bare in ten one hundred years by taking away their habitat. I make it hard for woodland plants and animals to survive. Without trees, drawing, drawing water out of the ground and releasing water vapor, land can be can quickly become dry and barren. When it rains, the parched soil washes away, without and without plants to absorb CO two, climate change. Just gets worse. Heat wave. I'm a mischievous type who just loves to meddle and mess with weather. Crinkling up my leathery over tame face. I turn up I turn up the heat and changing the plants weather patterns for good. You may love the idea of hotter weather than being a able to wear less and hang out at the beach, but excess heat stretches the human body and can prove fatal. Ex 
Century spells makes make crops fail, causing flaming while dried out forests and brush brushwood are ready to blaze at the slightest spark. Scientists caught me a loaded dice. That's that is not every flow is at six. A hot summer, but over time, there will be more hot summers than the or normal. Some say this is superstition. They remember harder times. Well, that may be, but those re records highs just keep on coming. video night. Bang, get, get, bang, a little, get, get.